Did you hear about Google's paper on Soundstorm? Um, no, I must have missed it. What's, what's it about? Well, it's a parallel decoder for efficient audio generation. Uh, so it can even be oh, used yeah. to generate dialogues. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, like this one was generated by Soundstorm. Wait, what? That is correct. The previous audio was indeed made by Soundstorm. Soundstorm is an efficient and non-autoregressive audio generation model recently released by Google. In this video, we will dive deeper into the Soundstorm model. But before we do that, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also let us know in comments if we missed out on any other model. The way generative AI for audio models work is to first convert raw data to a compressed format as a sequence of tokens. Neural audio codecs compress waveforms to a compact representation, which can be inverted to reconstruct an approximation of the original audio. Ease discrete audio tokens captures the local properties of sounds phonemes and their temporal structure e.g. prosody. These tokens are then passed transformer-based sequence to sequence models. With Soundstorm, Google propose a new method for efficient and high quality and longer audio generation. And two, a decoding scheme inspired by MaskGIT for image generation, adapted for audio tokens. Compared to Audiome's autoregressive approach, Soundstorm generates tokens in parallel. It produces consistent high quality audio, maintaining voice and acoustic conditions. When combined with Spear TTS's text-to-semantic modeling, Soundstorm can synthesize natural and quality dialogue. And two, acoustic modeling, which generates acoustic tokens from semantic tokens. Dot, with Soundstorm and acoustic modeling, they replacing slower autoregressive decoding with faster parallel decoding. Internally, Soundstorm uses well-known bidirectional attention-based conformer architecture. But what is the conformer architecture? Conformer as the name combines elements from both convolutional neural networks, CNNs, and transformers to capture both local and global dependencies within a sequence. The conformer architecture incorporates convolutional layers to capture local patterns and positional information in the input sequence. These layers help model the short-range dependencies. Model also includes self-attention layers of transformers. Self-attention allows the model to capture long-range dependencies and relationships between tokens in the input sequence. The model is trained to predict audio tokens generated by neural audio codecs, such as Soundstream, which are based on a sequence of semantic tokens produced by Audio LM. At each time step T, Soundstream uses up to Q tokens to represent the audio using a method known as residual vector quantization, RVQ. Residual vector quantization is used for data compression and representation. It is particularly effective in capturing and encoding the residual or error between original signal and approximation. RVQ is used to quantize or discretize the audio signal into a sequence of tokens. These tokens represent specific segments or components of the audio signal. Thus, it divides the audio signal into smaller subsignals, and for each subsignal, approximate it using a set of representative vectors or codewords. Soundstorm begins by masking out all audio tokens and gradually fills in the masked tokens through multiple iterations. Dot, the process starts with coarse tokens at RVQ level 1 and work till level Q. It samples tokens in a coarse to fine RVQ level wise order, employing a confidence based sampling, performing multiple passes in parallel. Lastly, uses greedy decoding for high quality audio. Soundstorm matches the quality of Audiome's acoustic generator. Soundstorm produces audio 100x faster than Audiome's hierarchical autoregressive acoustic generator with matching quality. Speech intelligibility is defined measuring the word error rate and character error rate of the generated audio after transcribing it. Soundstorm improves over Audiome's acoustic generation easily. They use Soundstream codec that produces 50 frames per second and uses an RVQ with Q equals 12 levels, with 1024 codebook size per level with bit rate of 6000. They use the semantic tokens of audio LM as conditioning embeddings quantized with k-means with 1024 cluster centers. The conformer is 350m parameters, with 12 layers, 16 attention heads. The model dimensions are 1024, feed-forward dimension of 4096, convolution kernel size of 5, and rotary positional embeddings. 
During decoding, they use 16 iterations in the first RQV level and greedily choosing the tokens with the highest probability in the subsequent levels. This strategy results in 27 forward passes with the model to predict 30 seconds of audio. The model was trained on LibriLite with 10 epics over the data. Spoken dialogue synthesis is an important application where maintaining speaker identities over multiple speaker turns and long time spans is of paramount amazing. importance. Something really funny happened to me this morning. Oh, wow. What? I'm going to Istanbul for the Champions League fight. That's awesome. I've always Very wanted important. to learn how to play the guitar. What kind of guitar do you have in mind? They collected a corpus of approximately 100,000 hours of dialogues, segmented into 30-second chunks. By running an off-the-shelf Osser system, they generated a transcript for each segment. To model the text to semantic token mapping, they train a BYT5 large transformer. As input, this model takes a byte-level representation of the text and predicts non-deduplicated semantic tokens. As input, it takes a byte-level representation of the text and predicts non-deduplicated semantic tokens. Decoding is done by temperature sampling, with temperature of 0.9 and top case set to 125.